Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you my Next.js and React SaaS boilerplate that you can use to build your next MVP or SaaS five times faster and in minutes instead of months. So let's get into it. So I created this because when I develop SaaS products, I'm always having to worry about accepting payments, uh, creating it so it can be deployed easily and managing users. So this will take care of all of that. With this, you can manage all your users, accept payments, and deploy to uh, Vercel or any other serverless environment basically instantly. So let's get into the features. First thing is you can create subscriptions and payments from the admin dashboard instead of having to create it in Stripe and then somehow link it to your app. You can manage authentication. You can easily add multiple different authentication providers like Discord, Twitter, Google, uh, just by dragging in and dropping your keys for those providers. So, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, social logins, that goes on to the previous thing. There's a full featured admin dashboard where you can manage the subscriptions, your users, and the roles and pricing all from within your own web app. So you don't have to go to your database, update stuff, go to Stripe, update stuff. You can manage it all in one place. A really easy backend, so you can link, you can connect to your backend from the front end using TRPC. Uh, so this way you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, fetching or you know posting to a, your own API route. So it's all authenticated for you. Uh, incredibly easy to use. Again, billing using Stripe, you just drag and drop your uh, Stripe API keys uh, into the environment variables, and boom, you got billing and striping. Uh, serverless. Uh, using Vercel and Docker, you can deploy within seconds. So I personally use Vercel, and I recommend you use this with Vercel. Uh, it just makes it so much easier to deploy. You commit a change, and it automatically deploys. Pre-made components. So there is a basic uh, component library that you can use to get started. It's not the best component library, but it will get you started, and it is very easy to switch out of. So very unopinionated, very bare bones. So this is meant for you to get started. And of course, a role. So if you want to block off certain sections of your website to users with a certain role, you can do that. So to get in, first things first, let's view the dashboard. So once you log in, um, this is the what your users will see. And this is meant for you to add your features here. So if you're an AI SaaS company, you know, you'll add in your AI stuff here. If you're a social media company, this can be a profile page. This can be whatever you want. This is just the the bare bones, you know, this is this is what you got. Um, it tells you what plan you're on and then a few links to help you out. Uh, for your users, you can click either this gear icon or their profile up here and go to their account. And from their account, uh, you can add in, they can manage some of their settings like their name, email, and image link. Um, and you can add your own stuff here easily too. And then from here, they can also upgrade their subscription. So I'm already on the enterprise uh, plan for this so I can't I can't get enterprise again but if I wanted to downgrade a pro I could subscribe to the pro plan and of course you can go back to the main dashboard so now the cool part is if you're an admin you can go to slash admin uh, and it'll bring you to the admin dashboard so this is your all in one control center for everything in your app you never have to leave this uh, except if you want to but um, this is uh, the one place you can manage everything so it has your recent users the users with subscriptions and your products. So you can see, okay, I got three users today and I got a couple subscriptions today. So you can all view it in one place instead of having to go to Stripe or you know your database and manually looking for it. Uh, first things first is the users tab. So you can manage all your users here. There's only one on my app, which is me so far, but let's say you have a hundred, all hundred show up here and you can manage them from here. And of course search. But using this little icon here, if you click it, it brings up the management window. And you can add your own management stuff here. So if you want the ability, if you have custom features you want to enable and enable uh, per user, you can easily add it here. Again, this entire boilerplate is meant to be added upon. This is just the bare bones stuff you need to get started, and it will save you months. So let's say for me, I want to be on the pro plan. I'll just click pro here. Say so click set product, and boom, I'm now on the pro plan. plan. And you can uh, see that change reflected here. And uh, next thing is the subscription. So these are all the users with an active uh, subscription. You can view them all here. Uh, and products, which is probably the best page because you can see all the products you created. You can create a product here. Uh, product name, description, image, all that good stuff. Uh, once you create a product here, it'll be automatically 
uploaded to Stripe using the Stripe API, so you don't have to worry about going to Stripe and setting up stuff. And again, once you create a product, product a checkout link will automatically be generated and will show up on your page. So if I create a product here, it'll show up here along with these ones. You can also edit them. So let's say I wanna edit the pro plan. Uh, let's see here, for team collaboration advanced features. Let's say I'm gonna say just for team collaboration, I'll click save changes, boom, uh, automatically updates. And boom, and that uh, change is reflected here. But let's say I wanna go back and say, uh, for team collaboration and advanced features, click save changes, come back here, and it automatically reflects. And it does this uh, live changes because it's, we're using TRPC. We're listening for changes on the back end, and if we detect them, we update the front end. So way easier than using Fetch or Axios. Uh, next thing is the roles. So let's say I have roles. Let's say I want this page to only be available to moderators. You can check that using the back end. You can be like dot user dot role equals equals moderator. Uh, so this is really easy to manage permissions. Let's say I'm gonna create a role called like content moderator. Moderate content on the website. Select the priority. Let's do very high. And boom, now you have a content moderator role that you can assign to users uh, using from the user. So let's say for me, I can assign myself the content moderator. I'm not gonna do that, but you could. And also, one thing I forgot to mention is if you create a product, it'll show up in this dropdown. Both these dropdowns are dynamic. So uh, you don't have to worry about manually adding things to dropdowns. You can also um, manage users directly from this page. So let's say your friend joins and you wanna hook him up with a role and you see them on the front page of your Mission Control Center here, you can simply click the Edit button and uh, select his role. So this is the, um, the second version of the SaaS template I've been creating. Uh, tons of new features on the way. Join our Discord or add your email to the website, and you'll get notified when new releases come out. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, join the Discord, and I will personally reply to each and every one of you. Have a good day, and thanks for watching.